Welcome back to the final video of my gift idea tutorials which I've been doing as part of the series all throughout November where I show you quick and easy gift ideas for crochet and knit projects, perfect for gifting to friends and family and hopefully in time for Christmas this year. So far we have done scarves, headwear, gloves and mittens and today we will be doing hair accessories. God the sun has really just come through. Put these blinds down. I've done these videos in order of what I think will take the longest. So we started with the scarves, which I thought might take a bit longer. And then today's video is gonna be super quick and easy in case you're looking for a really last minute and quick gift idea. As always, I will provide measurements for all of the projects so you can follow along no matter what yarn, hook or needle you have. And it also means that you can knit the crochet project or you can crochet the knit project. You're just gonna have to adapt to the measurements that I give you. Something very exciting that I will also be launching as this video comes out is a pattern booklet which you can purchase on my website. It will have all the gift ideas that I've been sharing in written instructions so you can actually follow along my tutorials with the written down instructions in hand. It will also have all the measurements, all the calculations in there and I'm also going to give suggestions for how to turn the knit projects into crochet projects and vice versa. So if you would like to have the written down patterns to go along my videos then you should definitely get it. I'll put the link in the description below. If you have been following along these videos and you've been enjoying them, honestly any support on this I would really appreciate especially for the pattern booklet as well but anyways without further ado let's start by making a crochet scrunchie so I actually made this crochet scrunchie as part of a scrunchie making video a while back when my hair was still a bit longer and I really wasn't thinking much of it I just kind of put it together using all of my scrap yarn and I was obsessed with it like it was my favorite scrunchie out of the lot and I was actually absolutely gutted because I cut my hair a couple days after making that scrunchie and I am waiting for the day that my hair is long enough again so I can put it up in a tiny bun and I can wrap the scrunchie around because it is so much fun like it will elevate any outfit it's so colorful and because of the crochet stitches I find it has a lot of hold and it's almost like the crochet wraps around each individual hair strand I don't know if that's how it works but this really is so 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 simple I love any projects that use up scrap yarn and it literally couldn't be more straightforward like I mentioned this is perfect to use up a bunch of scrap yarn you will also need an elastic band Band. I've previously tried to do it with an already existing hairband but unfortunately for this crochet project a hairband won't be long enough so get yourself some elastic you will also need some type of scissors and of course a crochet hook I used a four millimeter for mine and a measuring tape will also be quite handy to have so grab whichever color you want to start with and you're going to make a slip knot and chain as many stitches as you need to reach 25 inches once you've done that you're going to turn your work and you're going to double crochet into every stitch until you get to the end. In order to create this really colourful design I'm changing my yarn out quite a lot and the way I like to do this is I don't fully complete my double crochet and to complete the last bit of the double crochet I use my second yarn and to tie in my tail ends I like to kind of fold them over whenever I create my top stitches. So you can see here I'm just about to finish my double crochet so I kind of wrap the yarn over. I finish my double crochet I wrap my yarn over again then I just yarn over as usual and start my next double crochet. This kind of just ties in your loose end as you're crocheting along and it just saves you time later on where you don't have to weave in the ends. Also when you're then creating the next row you can secure your tail ends even more than crocheting over those ends and then when you're finished with your piece you can literally just cut off anything that's still sticking out which I think will just save you lots of time and effort. Once you've reached the end of your first row turn your work over and the second row you're gonna just half double crochet. So the pattern for this is essentially one row of double crochets, one row of half double crochets, one row of double crochets and so on and so forth. I think this is quite a fun way to just change it up a little bit and have a slightly thinner row and a thicker row. You want to just continue this on until the width of your work measures three inches and then you can fold your work in half and simply slip stitch along the side to almost create like a tube with your crochet piece. Once that's finished you're going to grab your elastic and pop a stitch marker or a safety pin at the end of your elastic just to help you feed the elastic through the crochet tube. Once you've fed the elastic all the way through you can then pull on it and also 
kind of scrunch your crochet piece together so you're creating that kind of scrunchy effect i would just advise to not make it too tight so just check that your elastic still has a bit of room to move otherwise you're going to struggle to kind of pop it around your hair later on this is also going to be like a double wrap so you want it to be a bit wider than like your traditional hair tie once you're happy with your length cut your elastic and tie a good knot you can then also just trim the ends so they're not super long and bulky then grab your crochet hook again and now it's time to slip stitch the final edge cut your yarn and you can insert your crochet hook to then also just weave in any leftover ends into the actual scrunchie i am not even kidding when i say this scrunchie is just the most amazing thing as soon as you sew the edge together here it really just takes a life of its own and it kind of like moves around and at first that really annoyed me and i really wanted it just to stay in place but actually that is what creates this incredible texture and color and all the colors get mixed together and i just love it so 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 much i would show you but i think i would struggle <laughs> to make a bun with my current hair situation. I will just insert some photos here of when I made my scrunchie a couple months ago. Like I said, hair not wait for the day that I will be able to wear these. As with all the projects that I've been showing you, super adaptable to different colors depending on who you're making the scrunchie for. It's just such an absolute staple. Now for the knit project, I'm not going to give you a scrunchie tutorial because if you want to make a knit scrunchie, you can literally just follow along the crochet tutorial and instead of crocheting, you're going to knit. Very straight forward. There's also the amazing maxi scrunchie pattern by Le Pool, which you can purchase on Ravelry. I haven't bought it myself yet, but I've been eyeing it out for the longest time. It is beautiful. It is stunning. My tutorial wouldn't even compete to this design. So if you are looking for a very colourful and fun and big knit scrunchie, I would definitely recommend that pattern. Instead, today we are going to make knit bows. I've been obsessed with bows. Incidentally, I am wearing a bow jumper. I love bows. They are amazing. They've been everywhere the Last couple years and i think they are here to stay i have yet to get sick and tired of them and they are so easy to knit if i received a hand knit bow by someone i'm gonna marry them on the spot the great thing about these is that they are so adjustable you can make them as thin as you want and as long as you want or as short and as thick as you want it really doesn't matter and in a way this feels a bit silly for me to give a tutorial on this because it is so straightforward but I thought, if anything, this could just be a great gift idea. You probably don't necessarily need tutorial to go with this, but I thought I'd just quickly give you a rundown of how I like to make my bows. For these bows, you can really use any type of yarn and any size needle, and you're just gonna need a sewing or darning needle to later on sew in your loose ends. And then I like to start with a long tail cast on, and you can simply cast on as many stitches as you like. So I'm using 4.5 mil needles, and I'm casting on about 10 stitches. Stitches. Once you've cast everything on, you can then purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and create your stock in it pattern. This can also be done in any other type of pattern. I think a garter stitch would work quite nicely. It might just create a bit of a bulkier bow, but honestly, whatever you feel like doing, you can just go for it. Even though this is a very simple and straightforward design, it might just take a bit of time to create the length that you want. The great thing about this is that you can test out the length as you go along. So tie a little bow every now and again and just check whether you're happy with how long it is. Once I'm happy with my length, I then just cast off and kind of sew in my end going back and forth along the edge of my bow. You just wanna make sure it doesn't come undone. So the more you go back and forth, the less likely it is for your yarn to unravel. And because this is such a simple and straightforward tutorial, I also wanted to show you a really cool way that you can create like a display bow. So you essentially wanna create two loops and hold each loop in each hand. And then you're creating a knot with those two loops. As you're creating that knot, your knot is kind of automatically trying to unravel and just let it do its thing. Once it's kind of unraveled, you can then pull it a bit tighter. I like to sort of just make sure everything looks fine and move my bow in different directions until I'm happy. And look at that, it's literally like a picture perfect bow. I physically couldn't show you a more simple design because you're just knitting a rectangle, a really long rectangle. And the result is just adorable. What I also love about making and gifting knit bows is that you aren't limited to just one function like this can be a hair accessory but it can also be added to bags to clothing you can use it to wrap your gifts 
the possibilities genuinely are endless for this. You can do all sorts of colours, you can make them stripy, you can add little designs and patterns on them. I've actually wanted to make some of these for ages to add to my bags. I'm just absolutely obsessed with bow bags at the moment and you can literally just replicate those by knitting a bow and adding it to the bag. Like I said I feel a bit silly giving you a tutorial for this but I hope it gave you some kind of inspo and sparked some ideas for you to maybe make some for your friends and family. Please do check out the pattern booklet that I've put together and that I will link in the description below. I really have put so much work into these videos over the last few weeks. There have been a few uh, long and sleepless nights but it was so worth it. I enjoyed this so much and I've learned a lot along the way. I have already seen a few of the outcomes. People have been tagging me and been making the bonnets and said they started the mittens which is just amazing. I honestly appreciate it so so much. And yeah thank you to everyone who has been following along this series who's been commenting and leaving positive reviews. I really appreciate that as well. Do tag me in anything if you end up making any of these projects and I think this will be it for tutorials for the rest of the year. There are lots more exciting videos coming as always uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!